Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you love my content, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. All right, today, check it out, guys. We got our first 2024 Jayco motorhome, and it is the Alante 27A. Excellent floor plan. Your total length from tip to tip is 29 feet and 11 inches. So if you're looking for a family, fam, blah, 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 family friendly coach under 30 feet long, look no further than the Alante. Let's check it out. Up front, look at this new partial paint. This is gorgeous. It's a silver. Up front in the front cap, it loops around a little bit that goes all the way to the side in the mirrors here. I love that look. It's super new for 24. That's a great look for the Elante. Definitely an upgrade with that partial paint. You've got the 120 inch windshield, right? The oversized windshield wipers. We're familiar with all of that. Moving down the side of the coach, um, again, the new V8, which is awesome. You've got the 19 inch tires on the Elante. That is a difference in the upgrade between the Elante and the Precept. With the Precept, you move up to 22 inch tires. Um, matte finish mirrors here. You've got the uh, cameras on the inside of the mirror there to see down the side of your coach, so that's great. Let's not forget your J-Ride package. You've got stabilizer bars. You've got a computer balance drive shaft. You've got jounce bumpers. And since 2023, or is it 2024? 23, it is there. 23, they started the Bilstein steering stabilizer. So that is huge. That's going to help reduce that shake of that uh, wheel as you're going down the road. It's probably the one thing I got feedback on is that the Elante was a little all over the place. So that Bilstein steering stabilizer was huge. New for 24, check this out. They've added cat strap to the motorhome. Now, a lot of people come in and they ask me about the catalytic converter, right? I guess that's the biggest piece of the motorhome that has on the, made the news for being stolen. So this cat strap is like a steel strap that goes around that catalytic converter. You can't cut it with an ordinary um, knife, supposedly. So that is extra protection that is built into the motorhome to protect your catalytic converter. So that's huge for 24. Um, all of your doors have these metal slam latches. Look at this. You've got one pass or one storage bay here. Sorry, it's not passed through. And stepping down the side of the motorhome, you've got a pass through storage here. This one has a couple in, uh, quite a few inches of clearance here. So you could put things like fishing poles. You could put your tiki torches, whatever long, maybe your skis in there um, if you're going up north. Exterior entertainment center with your Furion speakers. It, they are all smart TVs now, which is awesome. Nice big awning that stretches almost the entire length of the motorhome, which is great. And you've got frameless windows throughout. It is a gorgeous little motorhome here. Second storage bay, it's not pass-through storage, but you've still got quite a bit of space there, so that looks good. Coming around the back, we've got another little storage compartment here, not nearly as deep as the rest, but maybe you could put some Velcro hooks, command strips, and maybe hang some tools in here. That would be nice. And then there is another little uh, storage bay here. Now this is all rotocast, guys. So this is, um, I, I would say waterproof, but of course water will pool in there. So you do have to make sure to keep it clean and, and wash it out if you, are, if you get any water in there for any reason. Around the back of the Elante, you've got a ladder on the 27A to get up on that roof to check the roof seals. Um, it is going to be a one-piece pebbled fiberglass molded roof. This is huge for the motorhomes, okay? So that fiberglass roof, normally it is, it is, normally it is rolled out and then it is forced to with screws down the side of the unit, right? What happens is then the fiberglass is always fighting to break free because it came from a roll. So Jayco takes the time to mold that around down the side of the coach. It gives a nice roll off to that rain. The pebble gives you some, some uh, you know, rigidity on your feet. It gives you a little friction so you can walk across the top of the motorhome with confidence when you're checking your seals up there. Great, great. Uh, roof on the on the Elante. You do have a rating of 5,000 pound tow. Now guys, I do know other motorhomes on this price point in this market may have a hitch that says it's rated for 8,000 pounds, but then it has a 500 pound hitch and it's the same engine either way. So I'd rather it be derated to 5,000 and I know I can pull that than risk pulling too much uh, after you've loaded the coach up. So just keep all that in mind. Slide outs, you've got slide toppers on top of all of the slide outs, right? That's gonna protect it from leaves, branches, things getting in there. You don't have to get up and sweep out that slide out. It'll keep it protected when you're traveling. 
somebody's really revving their engine out there on 436. All right, Wet Bay is here. Super easy and simple. It's color coded. All right, even, even a caveman can do it, right? Even I can do it. You've got city water fill and a black tank flush. You also have the water filter down there, and there's a hot and cold shower um, nozzle right there as well. So if you got to clean up after the beach, it's great. You've got a 30 amp service on this coach. You're gonna have a power management system because it is it has two ACs. So we'll see that when we get inside. Uh, all right, so next up after the wet bay is gonna be your fuel fill. That is on the driver's side, so on the hookup side of things, that's pretty easy to get to. And right next to it is gonna be your tank dump. Now this is nice, it's lifted off of the ground, so it's not gonna be dragging down below lower than your leveling jacks if you're uh, worried about that, like hitting the pavement if you happen to hit a bump in the road. All right, moving up towards the front, you've got a 4,000 watt Cummins Onan generator on here. This is gonna run off of your fuel tank, guys. I should do an F&B on this for the new, new RVers out there. That is just going to run off of your fuel until you hit a quarter tank, and then it will automatically shut off to preserve the rest of your fuel so you can get to your destination. Uh, you have got other side of the pass-through storage, pretty nice that you can access it from both sides, and those lights are motion sensor or you can set them to turn them off and on manually. Last bay here is just gonna be your batteries, which are on a um, pull-out tray, which is nice, and then your propane tank, which you can fill right there. On the other side of the motorhome, there is a um, fuel, there's a quick connect to be able to hook up a grill. Uh, and then your last little bay here, so again, a little bit of storage, there is your solar controller there. Uh, we've got, what, 200 watts of solar on the Jayco standard. That's it, so that's pretty nice. You've got a nice solar panel to keep your battery trickle charged. Keep in mind, guys, these solar, these solar like, packages, unless you have a super heavy-duty solar package with a lot of lithium batteries and a heavy-duty inverter, and you've got, like, there's a lot that goes into running everything off solar. So when a salesperson tells you there's solar on board, it doesn't necessarily mean that everything is gonna run on your coach. And I would just keep that in mind. Solar is great for trickle charging the battery and keeping maintaining your battery life more than 50% of the regular lifespan. Okay, door here, some people struggle with opening this. Put your thumb right on the left side of the door handle and it will, it will pop right open. That window, by the way, is huge now. They increase the window size, so that's massive. Let's not over, overlook their two-year interior and three-year structural warranty that comes with it, which is 365 days longer than everybody else. Okay. Moving into the motor home. Just gonna shut that off there. It's nice and cool in here for us. This is the modern farmhouse decor for 2024. So you can see that they've made a couple changes. A little bit different on the wallpaper coloring, a little bit different on the valances. Actually, the valances look the same to me, right? Alex, I don't think that's different. Your floor has changed a bit. They've gone to the same color floor, whether you go with the lighter cabinets or the darker cabinets actually i have a list here of 2024 upgrades because i knew i might forget something um we got the new graphics the exterior partial paint this is this is the modern farmhouse they also have an option with darker cabinets called the Asheville interior you're also going to get the same floors with the Asheville because whether you have gray or brown furniture it pulls the gray or the brown out of the floor so that's kind of what you're looking at for this countertops are the same press board they're a little bit different color now this year so that was a little bit of a change. Wall boards. We added Velcro to the dinette cushions. So here when you walk in, <laughs> this was always a struggle for us. If it wasn't completely level, one of them is always falling over. So I'm a big fan of the fact that they finally added some Velcro to that and made that stick. Uh, furniture looks a little bit different. Nice, nice little upgrade. I think they changed the fabric slightly. Still should be no issues with the fabric peeling and cracking and fading like it did in 2017, 2018. All right, up front, we'll go over it really quickly. You have got a power driver seat for the Elante. Looks like they got some new floor mats up here too, Alex. Those are pretty nice. Um, so power driver seat here. Not much has changed on the steering console. You still have your, your um, auto leveling to the left of you. Generator start, stop, battery boost, all that good stuff. The Sony Entertainment Center system here hasn't really changed much. I wish they would pull it up more because it is pretty down low. But if you hit that rear camera button when your um, engine is on, you can see the backup camera and then your side view cameras come up there as well. Look at this beautiful IMAX view of 
Blue Compass of Orlando, because we're not anywhere, but imagine just driving down the road, you're out in the Rockies or something, and you're seeing the gorgeous view with this big panoramic windshield. So that's a big feature on this. These chairs do swivel all the way around, and you've got a place for the tabletop here, which is great. It's going to be stored up in this overhead bunk. Now, this bunk drops down halfway. It is electric. Um, it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. And you've got a 750-pound um, bunk capacity above here with actual slats to sleep. So it's fairly comfortable up there. You can put two adults comfortably. The dinette will drop down. It's a dream dinette. It's very easy to just unlock and drop down. That'll sleep two more people. You have the, the child car seat tethers right there, which is great. That They added that in 2022, 23? Um, okay, so over here on the other side next to the dinette, you have a couch. It's really nice because now your couch is pretty much directly across from your TV there. So it's not too far away. You're not cricking your neck trying to see something. Storage up above here, a little bit of cabinetry. Nice big windows, plenty of light in here. And then moving into the kitchen, uh, stainless steel sink here. It is one big deep sink. You have a pull faucet, which is great. Nice big high point microwave there. And now on the wall next to Alex is the um, energy management system right here. And then you have some controls for your slide outs and things like that. Now, um, behind Alex is the drum roll, the biggest change for 24. Guys, we have a 12 volt fridge in our class A's and class C's now. I was waiting for this to come out. We were asking Jayco and Integra to figure this out. They finally did. So this Furion 12 volt fridge, it is cold right now because even with the solar running when it was left on, it's very quick to chill. It's very deep. It's a lot better than your gas electric option. So plenty of storage now in that fridge freezer, which is awesome. You've got your pantry here on the side, uh, not too wide, but very deep, which is great. And next to that is going to be uh, the hanging closet right next to the bathroom. You have got a ladder here that will pull out for the bunk. You've got some drawers for storage, which are pretty deep, which is really nice. And next to me is going to be one of the only models. I think I have a Thor Resonate that has it now too, but it's one of the only floor plans under 30 feet with a king bed. So full king bed walk around. Again, tons of storage around it. You've got two more closets here. You've got Closet, uh, both closets with shelves. It looks like this is permanent shelves and then this is adjustable shelves and six total drawers back here for storage. So great amount of storage for the size of the unit. You've got a prep here for another TV if you want to add another one and then your controls for your second AC which is in the bedroom. Full door for privacy if you want to close yourself off from your guests. Finally the bathroom here porcelain foot flush toilet your toilet paper holder is right there that's a pretty good spot for it big window um let's see do we have just just blackout shades on the Elante no day or night shades but uh, another stainless steel sink here and finally stepping into the shower I've got pretty good amount of room I think people over six feet might have trouble in the shower because it is a pretty big jump up here but yeah that is my 27a guys um again i really love this layout for the length of it because families really want something under 30 feet the versatility of the floor plan you can sleep up to six to eight people depending on their size and their ages and how comfortable they are with sharing a dinette bed or the couch bed the jackknife sofa um but yeah that about covers it for 2024 i lost oh no my paper's right here hold on i went over everything we've got all the changes the velcro the different colors the paint I think that about covers it. So thank you so much for watching guys. And until next time, happy camping.